Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I did these water ripples. I hope this technique will be helpful. Without further ado, let's jump inside Cinema 4D. First I'm going to simply create a plane. Let's make it bigger and add more subdivisions to have a better definition. Now we need something to collide with. I have a boat model here that is going to make ripples on the water. So let's work on the effect. First grab a collision deformer and apply it to the plane. Hold the shift key down to apply it directly to the plane. Now go to the colliders tab of the deformer and drag the boat model here. So if I move the boat on the water, it interacts with the plane. We can now create the ripples. For this, we have to go to the object tab. To be able to modify the curve here, we have to choose a fall off. Let's select surface. Now we can add points to the graph. Right click on the graph and click on show in a separate window so it's easier to work with. Control plus click to add a point. Let's add a point every three rectangles. Take the first point and move it up to the top. Keep the second where it is and move the third one a little lower than the first. Notice how ripples are starting to show on the plane. So I'm going to keep on going with my curve here to add details to our ripples. When it's done, Control plus A to select every point, right click, point type, easy ease. Now if I move my boat around you can see the ripples but it's not like a water ripple effect. For this to occur, let's add a jiggle deformer. Select the plane, go to the deformer menu, select jiggle while holding down the shift key. The jiggle has to be after the collision. Now, there is no more ripple. To see them back we need to hit play while moving the boat around the plane object. We can also add a smoothing deformer to smooth out our ripples. Once again, select the plane, go to the deformer menu, Hold the shift key down and add a smoothing deformer. Put it after the jiggle and decrease the strength a bit. Let's quickly animate the boat. That's it for now. I hope this technique will help you. See you in my next video.